Hello and welcome to another story from the Old Flyers. Imagine an airship that contains 38,000 cubic metres of helium. An airship 92 metres long and 43.5 metres wide. A craft that can take off and land from any flat surface without the need for airports and can carry 10 tonnes of passengers or cargo. That is the Airlander 10. The Airlander 10 is a development of the HAV-304 hybrid aircraft that was designed and produced as a long endurance surveillance platform for the US military. That program was cancelled in 2013. The name hybrid applies because lift is both from the helium and the aerodynamic shape in forward flight. The hull is a large pressure stabilized fabric structure containing helium and air in separate compartments. The aerodynamic shape contributes up to 40% of the vehicle's total lift. That shape is reminiscent of a flying bum. Yes, you heard it here first. The Airlander 10 made its first test flight on the 17th of August 2016. 38,000 cubic metres of helium doesn't come cheap. As of 2023, it is about US $7.57 per cubic metre, so costs about US $288,000. The aircraft is powered by four affiliate Centurion 4-litre V8 turbocharged diesel engines, two mounted forward and two at the stern. Each generates 325 horsepower. The buoyancy of the aircraft is expressed in terms of static heaviness. A static heaviness of zero would equate to neutral buoyancy, such that the aircraft would neither rise nor fall unless acted upon by other forces. In normal operation, the aircraft has positive static heaviness, being overall heavier than air. Generally, static heaviness reduces as fuel is burned. The intended normal landing profile involves a touchdown with some forward speed, followed by a short landing roll as the aircraft naturally slows to a stop. Without the means of providing significant vertical thrust, the aircraft is not capable of true vertical landings in calm or very light wind conditions. The Airlander 10 flies between 20 and 60 knots at 20,000 feet for up to 4,000 nautical miles. It can stay aloft for up to five days. Two inflatable skids enable landing on water, ice and snow, as well as flat terrain. With a 10-ton mission payload, this equates to what a Pilatus PC-12 or BAE-146 200F can carry. It is a safe aircraft to operate, though has had one significant accident when in August 2016 at Cardington Airfield in England, an Airlifter 10 cabin flight deck was damaged in a nose down landing incident. The mooring mast winch failed. Helium is not flammable unlike hydrogen. The Hindenburg disaster is often quoted when safety of dirigibles are mentioned to which HAV replies, did shipping cease at the sinking of the Titanic? A larger Airlander 50 is being planned that will carry 50 tonnes over 1,187 nautical miles that could include 200 passengers. Proponents of these aircraft are touting the low or zero carbon footprint, particularly when those diesel engines are replaced with electric motors. Thank you for watching. Comments welcome. Like and subscribe for more stories.